sheep plow monkey and I farm with my two sons, Kevin and Mike. We're in the heart of Dairyland, Prince County, uh, Freeport, Minnesota. And uh, been farming for 29 years. This is my dad's farm. I've got 119 cows milking right now. Anyone considering the robots, I mean, they're just, they're very simple. I think they're quite simple. I mean, after the cows learn the routine, it's uh, not a problem at all. Everything works very well. It's so compact. It's really relaxing to the cows, and they have a lot of different extra features the other ones don't have. We can actually go wherever we want, when we want, because we're not set to milk at early morning or late or early night. Um, we can uh, change our change our routine around and we can do whatever you know, whatever we feel like. We're doing. The Juno is really beneficial because it runs every hour uh, pushing up feed, so the cows are always have fresh feed in front of them. Labor-wise, I'm never up here pushing feed in. I mean, the Juno does its job. It uh, makes its run, goes back into this little charging spot, charges up for the next uh, push. Uh, it's done. Oh, the cows are unreal. They just, as soon as they hear that little beeping sound of the, uh, the Juno feeder, I mean, they're up here looking for feed again. The cow feeder, when we put it in, um, the biggest advantage is the amount of times the calf is fed, um, up to uh, six times a day. The comb calf feeder is uh, very efficient, helping uh, making our time available to uh, do other things. We don't have to take care of the calves. As it enters the station, the feeder recognizes its ear tag and immediately starts to mix up feed. It fills a small mixing jug. So many grams of milk replacer added by water and mixed up and fed. You can see the amount of growth on these calves versus the two week olds. Um, it's just a huge difference. These are probably two weeks older. 